Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, it's all about insane soccer. Insane soccer. What? What? Insane soccer. Insane soccer. Mr. Hino, what is insane soccer? It is a really cool class competition where we get to use our commander app to remote control our robots to play soccer. It's amazing, it's fun. My students even say it's more fun than Sumo Bot. My, I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? And I, they say it's because they get to control the robot and you know figure out what happens instead of just hoping and praying that your robot does good. So today, it's all about the rules, how to play, and what do we use as kind of guidelines for the game. But it's a really cool competition. If you want to see it, stay with me. You know, Lego Robotics. Oh. Okay, so Insane Soccer, we play on a first LEGO League table, so hopefully you guys have some type of feel to play on. We want it to be a 2v2, but if your class or, you know, if you guys don't have enough people, it, I mean, it's fun for a 1v1, but it really gets crazy when it's 2v2. So what I want to do today is kind of set the guidelines on what I tell my students they can and can't do, and then definitely show you the Insane Soccer action. So let's first talk about the guidelines. Okay, so this is our insane soccer arena. You know what's cool is I should put up like advertisements along the sides to make it look like a real soccer arena. So here's what I got. And then if you guys wanna copy this, by all means do it. So the soccer goal is three picture frames deep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine picture frames wide. We put these picture frames in the corner because we don't want the ball to get stuck in the corners. So we had to do that for every corner. I don't know. There's probably some type of wedge we can put so the ball might go up it and come back down. Um, I put the... I don't know how good that's working. We made that kind of like the key in basketball. We didn't want the robots to be able to just sit and camp there. Um, you guys can put that into your rules if you want. But it's really hard to judge that because sometimes the robots get stuck and they don't, they can't get out of that place. I don't know. It's going to be up to you. But what the rules are is my students can build a robot educator. They could build a speed bot. I'll leave you guys the link in the description to where you can find the building instructions for those robots. Um, but I also tell them you can build whatever robot you want that can score a, a goal. So what I have my students doing is they will make sure that the robot is not bigger than a, a sheet of eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. They can use more than what their EV3 kit has as long as they give me back the extra pieces. And there, we, we have it where if the team scores two goals, that is considered a win. So the first team to two goals wins. And if pieces fall off during the match, we grab those pieces and they can only put those pieces back on when a goal has been scored. So they can't just sit there and and put it back on. They have to wait till the goal is scored to put it back on. If the robot disconnects or the robot malfunctions, the team has to pick up their robot and pull it off the table and they have to put it back where they took the robot off the table. So this is a really fun activity for the students. What I wanna do now is show you some highlights of what I videotaped or recorded um, as matches in our class.
Okay, guys, so we call it insane soccer for a reason because it gets absolutely insane. Kids are screaming and yelling and cheering and fist bumping or chest bumping, whatever it is. They get really excited because, especially when it's 2v2, because there's just so many robots involved. Oh, there's one other thing I forgot. After every goal, because we have teams of two, after every goal, the team has to alternate drivers just so that everybody gets a chance to participate. So it's a really fun activity or competition. My students just thrive on competition and this is just another activity where they just go bonkers for. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully if you try this out, you can give me some feedback like, you know, this is what we did to change the rules to make it more fun. I don't know. You, you can let me know on this one, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Missing Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.